Hey, I'm Andre from STM and today we're going to have a look at one of my favourite features of Lynx G4 ECU range. This is the ability for the user to update the ECU firmware without needing to send it back to the manufacturer. Firmware is the heart of the ECU and tells it how to control the engine and what to do. From time to time the engineers at Lynx will come up with new features, support for different engines and even bug fixes. These changes are included in a firmware update which is available to download off Lynx website. Making sure your ECU is always running the latest firmware means that you can take advantage of these latest features and this means that your ECU is exactly the same as the current units being manufactured by Link right now. Updating your ECU firmware is quick and easy and best of all it's free so let's see what you need to do to get the job done. The firmware updates are contained in the PC Link tuning software so the first thing we need to do is get on Link's website and download the latest version. All you need to do is go to www.linkecu.com, go to Support, Downloads, and click on the PC Link Download button. This opens up a new window, and we need to scroll down, and again click on the Downloads tab. At the top of this window will be the latest release of PC Link software, which is what you want to download. Below are previous releases which can be downloaded if you need to roll back to an earlier version of the firmware for any reason. Once the PC Link software is downloaded, you need to install it on your laptop. Ok, so now that we have the latest PC Link installed, all we need to do is actually carry out the firmware upgrade. To do this, we open up the PC Link software and power up the ECU. You can move to the ECU controls menu and click on the update firmware option. This will open up a help window which shows the changes that have been made in the new version of the firmware. It's important to have a good read of this information and make sure you understand what has changed. Often a firmware update will require you to reconfigure certain functions and this will contain all the information you need to do the job properly. Once you've read that information, close down the window and you can proceed. The DOS prompt will tell you which version you are running and which version you'll be upgrading to. In this case we'll be upgrading from version 4.7.2 to 4.8.5. If you're happy with everything, press the Y key to continue. Firmware update will usually take around 20 seconds. It's important that during this time the power to both your laptop and the car's ECU are not interrupted. Once the update is complete, you'll be asked to turn the ignition off and to cycle the power to the ECU. This allows the ECU to reboot with the new firmware. If your upgrade has been successful, you can now exit the DOS window. You are now ready to connect to the ECU and continue tuning. As a last word of advice, some of the firmware updates do contain quite dramatic changes to the ECU functions. Getting everything working can take some time, so I don't recommend updating the firmware on the day of a race meeting or if you won't be able to devote the time to work through any problems that may arise.